Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually recording this video on Sunday, January 8th. I'm probably not going to um, share it until tomorrow. So, um, you know, if you're watching this on Monday, just know that I've recorded it on Sunday, but I just wanted to jump in and just share a little bit about my plans for January. I am feeling fantastic. I am finally recovered from surgery. <laughs> um, it's been quite a journey. And if you don't know what's been going on with me, I did just record a year in review video for 2022 that is up in live. So you can go back and check that out if you want. I am not going to make this a very long video because I had a very, very long video <laughs> with my year in review video. So just going to be really brief. Just wanted to let you know that I am getting ready to start a new challenge. And so for January, this is my challenge for myself. I am, well, first of all, I'm starting a new exercise program. So it is a four week program. It's going to have weightlifting, cardio, and um, I don't really know how to explain the other part of it. It's like not really yoga, but it's like um, more like relaxation, stretching type of exercises. So I'm still having back pain and I'm hoping that maybe that part of the program will possibly help, you know, with the back pain. So I'm starting that program tomorrow. And then as far as my food, I am going to... <laughs> I'm doing carnivore, but I'm tweaking it just a little bit. Um, it's World Carnivore Month. You know, most of you that follow me probably know that. So, I mean, most of the time I eat very, very close to carnivore anyway, but there are a few other things that I still have. So um, I usually consider myself more ketovore than carnivore. But for January, my goal is to eat carnivore plus... <laughs> plus coffee because I'm just not giving up my coffee. I know it's not carnivore. I know there's a lot of carnivore police out there that are going to say what you're doing isn't carnivore. Um, but this is, this is my plan. This is my challenge. So I am going to do what I need to do to get through the month and, you know, just feel good. So co coffee, I'm going to have coffee. I am going to have um, seasonings. So like the most, most of the time, the seasoning that I use is the Redmond's Real Salt, um, the seasoning salt. I love that stuff. And then there's a few other seasonings that I still use. They don't cause me any problems. So, I mean, that's the whole goal of carnivore is to eat so that you feel good. So I'm going to st still eat the seasonings because I know that they don't bother me. and stevia. And my main thing with the stevia is that I am not ready to give up my flavored electrolyte drinks that are sweetened with stevia. So, um, so yeah, I know there's a lot of, um, thoughts out there about stevia and that's fine. If you can't tolerate stevia, don't use it, but I am going to, <laughs> so that's one of my other things I'm not giving up. And then the last thing that I mean, I don't eat these every day, but I still, every once in a while, I like to have them and they do not cause me any problems. And that is pickles. I am still, every once in a while, I like to eat a dill pickle. I don't know. I just, I love them. And I love to drink the pickle juice. So those are the things that I am not getting rid of. But aside from that, January is going to be a carnivore month for me. Um, the other thing that I'm challenging myself with for January is I am not going to track my food, nothing. And those of you who know me very well know that I am obsessed with tracking. I'm obsessed with numbers. I, for years, as long as I can remember, I have always tracked all of my food and drinks. So I just like to see the numbers. But I have found that I feel like as I have been trying to adjust my macros with my protein and my fat, I've been coming, becoming so obsessed with calories 
and macros. And I feel like sometimes I eat things I don't really need to be eating because I'm trying to hit a macro goal. Um, or when I'm starving, like absolutely starving, I won't let myself eat because I've, you know, already hit my protein goal or whatever. So I feel like the tracking has been not helping me lately. So this month I am not tracking and already, um, already since the first of the month, I have not been tracking and it was a little weird at first, but then I, I have felt like it's, um, very empowering to not have to worry about punching in all those numbers and measuring food and all that stuff. So, um, that's something I haven't actually done before is to give up my tracking. So for January, I am not tracking anything. I am just listening to my body. I'm going to eat when I'm hungry. I'm going to eat what sounds good, focused on, you know, protein and fat. And so that is the other big part of, um, my challenge for the month. And I am doing a challenge group. I am hosting, I'm calling it a fit keto challenge, which is, um, it's a 28 day challenge. And I chose 28 days because that's how many days the exercise program is <laughs> that I'm going to do. So my whole goal for the group is just to help anyone get started with keto who is interested and, you know, wants to learn about keto. And just to keep in mind that, you know, yes, I'm going to be eating mostly carnivore, but really carnivore is just keto without the vegetables, without the nuts. So I really feel like they're both very closely related. So um, whether it's keto or carnivore, I just really want to, you know, if there's anybody out there that wants to get started, that is the whole purpose of this support group. And then if anybody wants to start an exercise program, um, either doing the exercise program that I'm going to do, or I have other options, um, you know, other choices of exercise in, in my challenge group. So, um, we're actually kicking that off tomorrow on Monday, January 9th. So this week in my group, this has been a prep week. So I've just been sharing information just kind of to, you know, help everybody get ready to get started with the actual challenge. So that kicks off tomorrow, which if you're watching this on Monday, then it kicks off today. <laughs> so um, the frustrating thing with all of this is that um, you may have seen my live video um, about Facebook. So for the longest time, I had been like, I am not doing any more Facebook groups. So I used to have a keto Facebook group that I ran that I was very active in. And I ended up closing that keto Facebook group and just moving over to Patreon because I was having a lot of issues with Facebook. So, you know, I decided I'm going to just run another Facebook group. And so, of course, just as I'm getting ready to kick off my very first challenge group of the year, some troll out there decides to report one of my stories for nudity, which there was no nudity. I mean, I shared a story just talking about my year in review and there was nothing inappropriate, but there is someone out there who is trying to get me kicked off Facebook. Basically this has happened. This is the second time this has happened to me. So I'm currently restricted from Facebook. I can't post anything. I can't comment on any other posts. Um, I'm just fully restricted. And they said it would be for a few days. So I have that challenge <laughs> as I am kicking off my challenge group tomorrow. And I have my Facebook challenge group. Um, I currently cannot participate in my own Facebook group. So um, luckily I do have my Patreon page. And so from the very beginning, the way I started out doing this challenge was that, you know, I was posting everything on my Patreon page that I was posting in the Facebook group. So <sighs> I still got the challenge going. Um, it's just very frustrating because on Patreon, the people who are participating are not able to actually share their own photos or their own posts. So that was kind of why I wanted to move over to Facebook was so that people could share their own pictures and their own, you know, post their own stuff, but 
<sighs> anyway, starting tomorrow, starting the challenge. And for anyone who is participating in the challenge, it's just that for right now, I'm just going to be able to post on Patreon and then everybody can, you know, add their comments for whatever I post. And as far as I know, everyone who is in the Facebook group can still post in the Facebook group, except for me. <laughs> so, uh, the frustrations of Facebook. So anyway, <laughs> that is, um, that's my update for what I am planning on doing for January carnivore, except I'm still doing coffee seasonings, stevia and pickles. And I'm not tracking anything. And then um, I'm starting a new exercise program. So that's my plan. I am really wanting to be, you know, more active doing videos. So for this month, I haven't decided if I'm going to do like what I eat in a day videos every day or what I eat in a week um, videos. I'm not really sure yet, but I plan on doing videos of my workouts and what I'm eating each day. I just don't know if it's going to be like, you know, one day at a time, or if I'm just going to do like, here's week one, here's week two, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but anyway, that's my plan. Um, so yeah, I hope you subscribe to my channel, follow along, um, I plan on sharing everything. And if you follow me on Facebook, then you need to follow me somewhere else <laughs> because, um, I don't know if my Instagram is going to get restricted as well, because, you know, Facebook and Instagram are run by the same company. So since I'm restricted on Facebook, I don't know if I will be on Instagram. Um, you can find me here on YouTube and, um, I'm also on Snapchat. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I, uh, I don't know. It is what it is. It's very frustrating, but anyway, um, happy new year and I will talk to you very, very soon.